Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to install MinGW on Windows and how to build a C++ file using MinGW. Also I will show you how to build a C++ file using the Make tool. So let's go to the navigator and let's type MinGW. Then let's go to this link which is on SourceForge. And now let's click on download to download the installer. Of course, we need to wait a few seconds to start the download. Now let's save this file on the computer, so I will save it on the desktop. And now let's go to this installer and let's run it. So in this window, I will click on install. Then I will accept this location where MinGW will be installed. Then I will click on continue. So I have to wait for this installation to finish. Now let's click on continue and now in this window I have to select the first package then to click on mark for installation because the first package contains Linux like tools like the LS tool and like RM and also it contains the make tool. Also I need the second package because it contains the C builder. And also I need the C++ uh, building tools, so I select also this package. Now let's click on installation and apply changes. Then let's click on apply. Now the installation finished successfully, so let's close this window and this window. And let's go to the location where MinGW has been installed. So this is the folder of MinGW and this is the binary folder that contains uh, binary files. So I need to add this path to my environment variables. So let's go to system, then advanced system settings, then let's go to environment variables. And here I have to select the path variable and to add the path to this variable. So I will add the path at the beginning to provide it with the highest priority. Then I will add semicolon as the separator. Also, I have to go to another folder on MinGW called msys and 1.0 and binary. So this folder contains Linux-like uh, tools and contains also the make tool so I need to add it to the vari environment variables so let's copy this let's go back to this path variable and also at the beginning I will paste the path and also I will add the semicolon as the separator so let's click on OK OK again OK and let's close this window now let's create a new uh, folder on the desktop let's call it project one and inside this folder I will just create a new C++ file let's call it main let's call it main.cpp and I will open this file using notepad++ also I will make a copy uh, I will paste some statements that I have already prepared so let's save this file and to build this file I need to execute this command so I need this command and then I will start the command prompt from this folder so I will type cmd so in this window I will just execute the copied uh, instruction so let's run it and as a result we obtain this executable file so let's run this executable file and as you can see this is the output of the uh, c++ file so if i want to build this cpp file using the make file i need to create a new file called make file without any extension and inside this file i have to provide the required statements so I will just make a copy of these statements and then I will save this file. So let's close it. Now let's go 
back to this command prompt and let's call make clean so the executable file has been removed now let's call make and the executable file has been created again so let's run this executable file and this is the output so this is the end of this video i hope it is useful for you please subscribe to the channel